But I, you know, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I didn't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. Not so-called <laughs> disappear. Like, cause that's a hell of a fight. Cause, you know, cause I'm God. Ah, <sighs> well, 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 Kanye West. Kanye West, Mr. Ye. <laughs> Man, I seen this clip and honestly, I don't know, I, I wasn't shocked. I really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really wasn't. You know a person by their fruits. You know what I'm saying? The Bible tells us that a good tree can't bear bad fruit and a bad tree can't bear good fruit. You know a person by their fruit. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people probably be in shock with this and a lot of people may still support Kanye even after watching this video. A lot of Christians may still support Kanye even after watching this video, but I'm not here to to go against Kanye and to debate Kanye and to do these. I'm just here to speak the truth. And here to tell exactly the things that needs to be said throughout this video. So without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just get your popcorn, okay? Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. Booth. Oh, hey, can can they put you back? In? I tried to remove the curse in a bunch of times, so he was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, what do you think? At the last one, I'm like, what do you think we make this thing all clean? He's like, no. <laughs> What way. is the yeah. difference though when yeah. you hear and music is like life, you know what I'm saying? And life you're kind of you're, you're kind of like this, you know what I'm saying? And some people try to put you into a yesterday mode. You know, at one point, yay, we hear and this is all you. We hear, you know, Jesus is king, we hear this, but that's all you. Then there's sometimes you just want to say, man, not fuck it, but you just want to say, man, this is what I'm feeling right now. Are you in that space where you're comfortable enough? to say, this is where I am right now. I'm still a man of God. I'm, Jesus still is king, but this is vultures right now. This is where I am. It is, but I, you know, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I didn't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. Mm -hmm. Like a, a lot of times I just feel like in our society and America, you know, people, Christians, we depend on Jesus so much that we won't put the word in ourselves. And the main thing that really that I, I don't rock with is like, it's just always like, I'm gonna pray for you. And it's just like, you can actually physically do something yourself too, more than just pray. And we're so, in this mentality that that's all that needs to happen, but we ain't, we ain't praying our way out of prison. Mm -hmm. We ain't praying our way out of the abortion clinics. We ain't praying our way to get our land back that was always ours after gentrification, after the Harlem uh, Renaissance and Black Wall Street was burned mm -hmm. to the ground. Them prayers ain't working. We, gonna, we have to apply actual physical building partnerships and it, and it don't start unless we could really be real with each other and say this is what i did this is what i did like i mean look at this i know i'm not gonna third rail y'all interview but look at the power of what happened when me and Kyrie was on the same page see that's what's scary but what they do is they put us each in a silo and say your grandmother gonna lose her crib and this gonna you know how many threats we've been dealt dealt with and i didn't pray my way through them threats either I had to get up and do it myself. I had so much to do. I ain't had time to pray. Not only are we talking about music, but. All right. I don't know if that's the end of the clip. I know that's just what I see. Uh, I'm going to let it finish out after I get my thoughts on this. Now, number one, he said that he prayed about a lot of stuff and Jesus to show up. This is the problem right now. Now, I only agree to him so, for to a certain extent. And the reason why I say that is because when he said that you don't have to pray about everything, you can actually get up and physically do something because people would be like, oh, 
pray uh prayed about this or pray about that faith without works is dead so yes god is waiting on us to move so that way he can move also we can't sit back and be lazy and be like lord uh i'm praying for a financial blessing but yeah we sitting on our sitting on our butt just drinking beer all day you know what i'm saying like it's like okay get up and go get a job and i will bless you i will bless you with i will bless you with uh uh what's it what's it called uh raise i will a raise i will bless you with you know promotion i will bless you with these things but i truly believe that when you say that you pray about things and you say that jesus never showed up i think the problem with us is that we'll pray about something and we will continue to worry about what we're praying about so we will pray to jesus and be like lord help me with this and help me with that. But after our prayer, we're continuing to want to take things into our own hands and say, you know what, because Jesus is not moving on our time. We feel like, Oh, he's not going to come through, but it's like, no, give him time. You know what I'm saying? God wants to see our faith and how much faith we can have. I have a big, a big testimony that happened to me recently to where I literally had to wait. I literally had to wait. It was nothing moving at the time. Things just start to get worse. Even as I prayed, it's like, dang, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. But instead of taking it to my own hands, I continue to trust in God. I continue to do my part by continuing to do what I had to do as a man, what I had to do as a husband, but I also had to continue to trust in God. And God just seen my faith. And guess what? Four days before what was what had to been done, God came through. You see what I'm saying? Like we always want to pray, 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 pray. But what is a prayer? What is faith when you 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 sit there and you continue to worry about what you pray for? When the Bible said, "Lay all our burdens onto Him and He shall give us rest." So if we're not laying, if we lay all our burdens onto Him, but we still carrying our burden, did we really lay all our burdens onto Him? See, we is because God don't move on our time. We feel like, oh man, He ain't gonna come through this and that. But you just never know, bro. And I'm not even gonna say you never know because you you no. A truth be told, you just never know. Because God will come through. He always come through. Isaiah 41 10, fear not for I am with you. He he has your back regardless. You know what I'm saying? It's just about your faith. What level of faith do you have? All that Jesus is king and Jesus is dad and Jesus is dad, that was all a facade. For what? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like when your faith is so firm in Jesus Christ, when you believe in Jesus Christ with all your heart, no matter what no one else say, and your faith is firm in Jesus because you know the evidence, the historical evidence behind Jesus Christ, you cannot be shaken. You cannot be moved. But a lot of people so focused on a religion aspect instead of a relationship. The relationship with God is is, is holy. It's, it's like... It's a level of peace I can't explain. I have peace in my relationship with God. You know what I'm saying? When I pray about something, I don't just say, oh, Jesus didn't come through. Sometimes we'll pray about it, but because it didn't come up how the way we want it to happen, or because it didn't happen the way we want it to happen, we just think he didn't show up. But what if he did show up? What if he did show up, but you were so focused on the way that you wanted things to happen that you missed out the, the, the whole way of how he showed up? You know what I'm saying? When you lay everything down and you surrender everything down to God, trust and believe me, he gonna always come through. He gonna never leave or forsake you. His word is the truth. His word is the living word. It's just a lot of people don't apply his word to their life. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, I ain't the richest and I'm going through a season in my life right now, but I'm truly trusting in God, but I'm doing my part. I'm continuing to work. I'm continuing to do what I got to do as a man. And I know that God gonna come through because he made a promise to me. Just how he made a promise to Abraham and Sarah for a kid. But it took men, it took it took a couple years for that to truly happen. It didn't just happen in the blink of an eye. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, because he's staying so firm on his promise, guess what? They had that promised child. You know what I'm saying? They had that promise, child. So that's what I'm telling y'all, bro. Like, again, we just got to believe and trust in the promise that God has given us. You know what I'm saying? God go come through. His word is sufficient enough. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? But taking everything into your own hands and you thinking that you did this and you did this and you did that, that's selfish. That ain't you having faith in God. God cares about our faith. He wants us to have faith in him. That's why the Bible says we cannot inherit the kingdom of God. We cannot inherit the kingdom if we don't have childlike faith. Why do we need childlike faith, God? Because a child depends on their parents for everything. A child depends on their parents more than they depend on anything else. A child ain't got to worry about what they go eat, how they go do this, how they go. They could just look at they they look at their father or their mother, um, father, uh, this and that, this and that. Like they don't they don't depend on themselves, and that's what God wants. He wants to depend on Him more than anything else. He still want us to work. He still want us to do what we have to do. But at the end of the day, we need to depend on him in the midst of what we're going through, in the midst of us working, in the midst of us trying to do the things that he have called us to do. We still need to depend on him just like a child does.
I'm gonna let Kanye finish though. I I don't think that's the end of the clip, but I'm gonna let him finish. If that's the end of the clip, I got more to say, but I wanna let him finish. If artists figured out their own distribution, and the punchline is we'd have to kill them. So I'll be surprised that I'm still alive mm -hmm. every day. How did you not so-called <laughs> disappear? Like, cause that's a hell of a fight. Cause, you know, cause I'm God. And anyone that disagree, I'm the God of me. And you can't tell me who I am. I can't tell y'all. I could tell y'all. It's y'all job to listen. I'm the God of me. I don't know if I'm in heaven already and shit. I got number one. I'm not, if all you do if artists figured out they. All right. So. I I didn't so the whole the whole little podcast that I was just watching like I seen that one clip I found it in the podcast but that junk is like an hour and a half long so you know what I'm saying I just found this clip that, because this is another clip that I want to talk on and th this pretty much like this pretty much the end of this okay but bro Kanye I'm gonna truly be keeping you on my prayers and the reason why I say that. Is because it's not it's not say like you're stupid you're dumb you listen to I know that everybody has a season that they go through but I understand that you know even when you was talking about Jesus and this and that Jesus this and that it's hard to to want to live for Jesus when you're in the culture so much when you're want to be part of the culture so much when you're not willing to give up the culture when you're not willing to give up the industry so much because it's bringing you in the income you know what I'm saying the moment you come to Jesus and you give up everything that you was working for so so hard for this and that you give up all that grind grinding you give up all this and give up all that majority of the stuff you're gonna lose you know what i'm saying because again people don't like when you talk about jesus people don't like that bro you feel me like look at look at look at uh john gabbana john gabbana aka boom game the man was he was going crazy boom game this boom game that give millions of views thousands of hundred million audience the moment he come to jesus the moment that everything start to Get low, get low, get low, get low. You know what I'm saying? And it's not its not even a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because it means that he's living for Christ. And we, what the Bible tells us, that if they hate us, just know they hated him first. And you telling yourself and calling yourself a God is nothing but blasphemy, bro. You saying that I'm a God. I'm a God of me. This and that. Bro, it's only one God. It's only one God. We are made in the image of God. But I am not God. I am not the one and only God. I'm not that. That is not what I am. You know what I'm saying? I am created in the image of God, but I'm not God. You feel me? I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And, and to say that statement is crazy. The man who came from talking so much about Jesus this and Jesus that and how much you love Jesus, how Jesus is a king and how Jesus walks, all these different things, but to come out and just basically switch up everything and now you're saying i'm a god is jesus even still king in your life was jesus ever still king in your life or was he just king for a season of your life did you just want to claim jesus you know what i'm saying like what what was the real reason behind claiming jesus maybe your heart was truly towards having jesus in your life but because you're so stuck in the industry because you're so stuck in culture it kind of it kind of degraded like it kind of just went away I truly don't know, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section below. Kanye West, you're not a God. Continue to pray to Jesus because you feel like Jesus is not showing up on your time. Look, God don't work off time, bro. Your time is not the perfect timing, but God timing is the perfect timing. So if you if you ask the Lord to get you out of a situation, it may not happen right then and there. It may not happen in the blink of an eye. But if you trust and believe, the, the more you continue to have your faith and believe, the more you continue to work and do the things you have to do. You know what I'm saying? Do your part, but continue to have faith. Don't take it all in your own hands and say, man, forget God. I, I need I need to do this. I got to do this. Because then you just the, the, the body, us, we're not we're not capable of handling all the burdens that we face on this life. That's why God said, give me all your burdens and I shall give you rest. When I talk to people about the peace that I feel in me, bro, they don't understand because they're carrying everything. They're bundling up everything. Everything they done went through in life, they bundling it all up. They don't want to give it to God. Oh, God, what God going to do? What well, well, I'm going to pray about? Man, I'm telling y'all, bro. Jesus Christ is the way. He's the way. Trust in him. Believe in him. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed.
Peace.